Cesare Baronio was an Italian cardinal and ecclesiastical historian of the Roman Catholic Church. His best-known works are his Annal Ecclesiastici which appear in 12 folio volumes. Baronius a cause of canonization has commenced and he has the title of Servant of God. Pope Benedict XIV conferred upon him the title of Venerable but it was found that the late Cardinal did not fill the requirements for the advancement in the cause so the title was dropped. Life Cesare Baronio was born at Sorara in Italy in 1538 as the single child of Camillo Baronio and Porzia Fabonia. He was educated at Verulà in Naples where he commenced his law studies in October 1556. At Rome he obtained his doctorate in canon law and civil law. After this he became a member of the Congregation of the Oratory in 1557 under Philip Neri, future saint, and was ordained to the subdiaconate on the 21st of December 1560 and later to the diaconate on the 20th of May 1561. He was then ordained to the priesthood in 1564. He succeeded Neri as superior in 1593. Pope Clement VIII, whose confessor he was from 1594 elevated him into the cardinalate on 5 June 1596 and also appointed him as the librarian of the Vatican. Baronio was given the red hat on 8 June and received status as cardinal priest of Santinirio e a Clio on 21 June. Baronius restored his titular church a church of Sts Nerius and a Chius and a procession in 1597 celebrated a transfer to it of relics. He also had work done on the church of San Gregorio Magno al Celio. At subsequent conclaves Baronio was twice considered to be papabile. The conclaves saw the elections of Pope Leo XI and Pope Paul V. On each occasion he was opposed by Spain on account of his work on the monarchy of Sicily, in which he supported the papal claims against those of the Spanish government. Baronio died in Santa Maria in Vallicella in Rome on 30 June 1607 and was buried in that same church. Works Baronius is best known for his Annal Ecclesiastici undertaken at the request of Philip Neri as an answer to the anti-Catholic history. The Magdeburg Centuries He began writing this account of the church after almost three decades of lecturing at Santa Maria in Vallicella. In the Annal he treats history in strict chronological order and keeps theology in the background. Lord Acton called it the greatest history of the Church ever written. It was in the Annal that Baronius coined the term Dark Age in the Latin form Seculum Obscurum to refer to the period between the end of the Carolingian Empire in 888 and the first inklings of the Gregorian reform under Pope Clement II in 1046. Notwithstanding its errors, especially in Greek history in which he had to depend upon second-hand information, the work of Baronia stands as an honest attempt to write history. Sarpi, in urging Casabon to write a refutation of the Annal, warned him never to accuse or suspect Baronius of bad faith. He also undertook a new edition of the Roman Martyrology, in which he removed some entries implausible for historical reasons. He is also known for saying, in the context of the controversies about the work of Copernicus and Galileo, the Bible teaches us how to go to heaven, not how the heavens go. This remark, which Baronius probably made in conversation with Galileo, was cited by the latter in his letter to the Grand Duchess Christina. At the time of the Venetian interdict, Baronius published a pamphlet, Paranesis ad Republicum Vuntam. It took a stringent papist line on the crisis. It was answered by the anti paranesis ad Caesarium Baronium of Niccolo Crasso in the same year. Biographies a Latin biography of Baronius by the Oratorian Hieronymus Barnabius appeared in 1651 as Vetus as Erich Barony. Another Oratorian, Raymundus Albericus, edited three volumes of his correspondence from 1759. There are other biographies by Amabel Kerr and by Generosa Calenzio. Beatification 
Baronio left a reputation for sanctity which led Pope Benedict XIV to proclaim him venerable. However, the late cardinal did not fill the requirements needed to attain the title and so that was dropped and he continues to retain the title of servant of God. In 2007, on the 400th anniversary of his death, the cause for his canonization, which had been stalled since 1745, was reopened by the Procurator General of the Oratory of St. Philip Neri.